Hello, chat. You love me? You love me? Hello. Ay, no escucho. Hola. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher, me escucha, sí. Yes. Okay. Sound and clear. La está llamando. Mire, que me que chupe. Qué bonito. Ay, no encuentro el cojo. Wow. Okay, we have Okay, welcome back everyone. Welcome to English Corporativo Principiante 3. Mm -hmm. okay. Today is Tuesday, September 24. Mm -hmm. And we are going to start with today's today's quote, today's phrase. Okay. Okay, teacher. Today phrase or today quote says, "Push yourself because no one else is going to do it." for you okay, okay. one more time oh, listen okay. push yourself because no push one else yourself. is going to do it for you because 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 no okay. oh no <laughs> repeat repeat and after me going to do it for you for you Okay, repeat after me. Push yourself. Okay. Push yourself. Push, push yourself. Because no one else because, because no one else is going to do it for you. Is going to do is going to do is for you. Okay, one more time. Push yourself. Push, push yourself because no one else because no because one, no one else, else is going to do it for you is going is to do going it to do for it for you okay one more time repeat after me Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Push yourself, Push yourself, because, yourself because no one else is going, going to do it do for, you. for you. One more time. Push yourself, yourself because, because no one else is going to do it for you. Push, push yourself, yourself because no one else is going to do, going to do it for you. Okay, what is push? Uh, push, push, abrir. Presionar. Presionar. Yeah. Presionar. Presionar. Push. Aha. Uh -huh. Yourself. What is yourself? Tú mismo. Solo. A ti mismo. A ti mismo. No solo. Okay. Push mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Because, what is because? 
Porque. Porque no one else. Nadie más. Nadie más. Is going to do it for you. Lo hará por ti. Lo hará por ti o lo va a hacer. O lo va a hacer por, por ti. Yes. 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 Push yourself. Because no one else is going to do it for you. Yes. Really. Yes. Is that true? It's really. Is it's that true? true. Yes. Yeah, that is really true. Yes. Okay. Okay. Usually people is not going to push you. Okay. People is not going to push you. People is going to uh, discourage you. Discourage. Let me give you this word. Discourage. Okay. Discourage is desalentarte, desanimarte. Discourage. Yeah. People, sometimes friends, sometimes family, they say, hey, don't do it. You are studying English. Come on. You are too old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have time. People discourage you. Te desanima. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because they cannot do it. Or they don't want to do it. Yeah? Yes. And yeah. they don't want to see you going up. They don't want to see you going up. Mm -hmm. So they discourage you. Te desanima. Yeah? Yes. yeah. After six months, después de seis meses, People say, okay, speak to me in English. <laughs> hey, take it easy. Okay? <laughs> take it easy. Yeah? It's only principiantes. Pero la gente lo hace para desanimarlo a uno. So, push, sí. push oh. yourself. Okay? Because no one else is going to do it for you. Yes? It's true. Yes. Okay. So, ¿Qué significa en español, dijo teacher? Uh -huh. Excuse ¿Qué me? significaba en español? Push What? yourself. Ah. Push. Es presionar. Push yourself. What is push, push. yourself? Push yourself. What is push yourself? Es uno mismo. Ya, yeah, empújate, presiónate, sí. impúlsate. Impúlsate tú mismo. Yourself. Nadie más lo hará por ti. Ok. Porque nadie más. Nadie más. Lo va lo a hacer va por ti. por ti. Ok. Ok. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Let's continue now. Let's start with today class. In today class, um, yesterday uh, we finished with, I gave you some questions to respond. Yes? Yes. Some questions yes. to respond about uh, a reading. 
okay, about New York. We had a reading about New York. This reading about New York. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you some questions? Can I ask you some questions? Let me get the image here. And I have some questions for you. Um, give me a second. Give me a second because I need to change this. Okay. Okay, no, ¿Están las mismas que están en la plataforma, verdad, Ticho? Uh, I don't know, no estoy seguro. Yo estas las he sacado. Puede que sea parecida, no sé. No he revisado el ejercicio. Y me parecieron unas algo similar. similar. Ok, good. Sí, similar. <laughs> no problem. Oh. Uh, sí, similar. Uh -huh. Okay, this is. Okay, number one. Where is the Empire State Building? Who can respond? No, the reading. The reading. Um, oh, the Where reading. Is the Empire State Building. Where is the Empire State Where Building? On Fifth Avenue, uh -huh. between thirty, between thirty third, and thirty four, thirty four street. Streets. Okay, yes. Perfect. Okay. Number two. How do I get from Rockefeller Center to Rockefeller Plaza? Rockefeller Plaza. How do I get from Rockefeller Center to Rockefeller Plaza? Uh -huh. <laughs> Time is running. How do I get from Rockefeller Center? to Rockefeller Plaza. It's in number three. <laughs> number three. It's in the section three. Easy number three here in the in the article in section three. Section three. To to right on forty ninth street. Uh huh. Walk another block. Uh huh. And and turn left. <laughs> yes. During Rockefeller Plaza. Excellent. That is the answer. 
turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. Very good. Next. Where is the entrance of New York Public Library? Where is the entrance of New York Public Library? Is in number two. Number the two. Entrance, the entrance is between uh -huh. 40 and 42nd Street. Yes. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Street. Perfect. Next. Where is Bryant Park? Where is Bryant Park? That is in number two. Where is Brian Park? Uh, Real number two. Fifth, fifth. Avenue, seven block. Brian Park? I know. Perdón. This letter holds over 10 million books. Come on, people, you can do it. What is Brian Park? Number two is number two. Section two, here it is. Section two, number two, Brian Park. In behind, uh -huh. behind the library. Uh -huh. Is Brian Park. Okay, so where is Brian Park? Behind the li library. Yes, is behind is the behind library. The library. Behind the library. Good. And the last one. What is across from Rockefeller Center? Number four. <laughs> Number four is uh, right across from Brooklyn. Is Sam Sam uh, Patrick? Is street is street Patrick? No, no. <laughs> Saint. S S T. In this este case, is Saint. Is the abbreviation uh, for Saint? Ah, uh, okay. Uh huh. St. Patrick Cathedral. Yes. Across from Rockefeller Center is St. Patrick's Saint Cathedral. 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 St. Patrick Cathedral. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Well, today we are going to watch a video about things people hate to do. We are going to watch a video about things people hate to do. 
Okay. Um, what is what is hate? Odiar. Odiar, okay. Hate. So, we're going hate to watch a video to about do. this vocabulary. Eight things people hate to do. Let me go to the video. And you're going to watch this video about eight things people hate to do. Class your verbal calendar for talking about things that people hate. Let's get started by listening and practicing. A second. Okay. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, okay. No. Okay, now look at this vocabulary about eight things people hate to do. Listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat after me. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do laundry. Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to go to meetings. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Exercise. 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 Work in the jar. Work in the jar. Work in the jar. Clean the house. 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 Open the mail. 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 Okay, very good. Very good. Um so we don't like these things, okay? Now, uh, 
Um, okay, let me write something here. For example, you say, I um, I don't uh, or so for example if we talk about our responsibilities or some obligations that, that we have for example you say I have to travel to work every day I have to travel to work every day. Yes? Do you yes. have to travel to work every day? Yes. 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 I, yeah. Uh, for example, I don't have to do the laundry in my house. I don't have to do the laundry in my house. Okay? What about you? What activities you have to do? And what activities you don't have to do? Okay? Okay. Make a short list. Uh, write five. Write five activities you have to do. Okay. Or, or you don't have to do. Okay. Okay? I will give you five minutes to work. I would travel to war every day and I had to war long in the house. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Joanna, can you tell me, give me one sentence? Okay. Uh, I had to work in the yard only Saturday. Okay. I don't I don't like clean the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Honest. An honest person. <laughs> Rocio? Um, I don't like cooking in the weekend. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Patricia Alemán? I have to do exercise every day. Okay, that's, that is good. I don't have to do dinner because I'm late of work. Okay. Uh, I don't have to make dinner. Make dinner. Okay. okay, very good. Eunice? Eunice? She's not there. Patricia Abarca? Teacher, yo no escuché nada de lo que estuvo explicando allí. No sé qué fue la, lo que hicieron en ese momento. Oh. Más se cayó el internet un ratito, no me podía conectar. Ah, ok. You have to make sentences like this. Ok, sentences like this. Ok. Look at the, the examples. Observe al resto. Luego hace las suyas. Miguel. ¿Cómo? Yes. Miguel, ¿qué eh, Sí, ahorita voy entrando porque me, me sacó el. Ah, ok. Ok. Dinora. I have to work in the grass the plant. Ah, ok. Y I have to open the mail on the morning. Okay. In the I have to exercise every day forever. Very good. Very good. In, in this case, I have that question. Uh -huh. uh, I re I reading these sentences. I don't go exercise or I don't go to exercise in gym. Uh, On ninguna de las dos. <laughs> <laughs> you can I don't puede decir I don't go to exercise uh, to, okay. to the gym I go to exercise I don't go to exercise to the gym or to I the go, gym uh huh I mm -hmm. don't go. Or I, so go I don't. Place. I don't go to exercise. Uh -huh. To the gym is 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 the sentence sense correct? Yes. Al gimnasio. Okay. Thank you. Donde íbamos? Gaby Sandoval. Hola. Ajá, ajá. Uh, no le escuché. I don't listen. Yeah. Sorry. No. I don't go to go to work. Ah, okay. Very good. I don't go to work. Okay. Okay, great. Let's continue now with this conversation, okay? 
listen to this conversation and then we are going to continue. One question. Uh huh. Teacher, eh, es lo mismo. I don't have. A, I don't like. No. No. No, because I don't have is more, more like you. It's not your responsibility. It's not your obligation. Okay. Okay. I have to work every day. It's, a, it's an obligation. It's a responsibility. Okay. okay. I don't have to clean the house. Or I don't have to make coffee in the office. It's not my responsibility. Okay. Okay? Okay. I like is when you enjoy an activity or not, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, listen to this conversation. We are going to start talking about simple past. Simple past, okay? Watch the video, please. As you learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I Didn't Study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a, have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. -E Stay. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop. Shopped. S-H-O-P-P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch we will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. 
In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. Mm -hmm. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right-hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now let me continue. No, we're going to practice the, the conversation. Just give me a second to prepare to share the conversation, okay? Okay, let's practice the conversation first. Listen and repeat, please. Um, let me prepare my... Okay, repeat. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. In the morning, the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. 
And then I visited my parents. I then I visited my parents. Ten está manchando. So what did you do on Sunday? So what did you do on Sunday? What did you do Sunday? I studied for the test all day. I Oh no, do we have a test today? Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, good. Uh, let's practice one more time, but I want you to pay attention to the intonation. Okay, so you, you don't have to repeat just like a robot. Okay, it's not, hi Jennifer, did you have good mm -hmm. weekend? No, use intonation please, okay? okay? One more time, repeat. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Well, I well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. Then my roommate and then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? So what did you do on Sunday? Saturday, Sunday. I studied for the test all day. I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, very good. Now, look at all these verbs. Uh, for example, I exercised. Then my roommate oh my. and I cleaned, cleaned. the laundry, laundry, and shop. Then I visited, visited. I Clean. studied, studied. I did study, I just watched. Daddy. I just watched. What? Watch. Okay. Okay. So all uh, I had. Is, uh, I had. Weekend. Okay. So these verbs are in past. Past. Simple past. So I had a busy weekend. I exercised in the morning. I cleaned. Cleaned. Did laundry. Did 
and shop. Shop. I visited. I visited. I studied. I studied. I didn't study. I didn't study. I watched. I watched. Okay. All these verbs are in simple past. Simple past. Let me show you. Okay, this is the grammar for the, the lesson, okay? For affirmative sentences in the simple past, we only use the verb in past, okay? The verb is in past. I studied, I studied. Watch. I watch television. Watch television. Stayed home. Stayed. We shopped for groceries. Shopped. They exercised on Saturday. Exercise. Okay. On the verb is in past. Then, with negative sentences, we are going to use the then. Didn't. Didn't is the contraction for did not. Did not. Didn't. Repeat. Didn't. 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 Okay. Didn't. Didn't. Yeah. Didn't. This is. Didn't. Didn't. Okay. Didn't. And look at the verb. Look at the verbs. Look at the verbs. Vean los verbos. The verbs are not in past. Okay? They are in present. They are in present. Or se llama base form. En su forma básica. Base form. Base, base form. Base en su forma form. básica. Okay, so, so decimos, I didn't study. I didn't study. I, I didn't study. Okay. No me lo vayan a poner aquí en esta forma, ¿verdad? No. ¿Por qué? Porque ya estamos haciendo el pasado en el auxiliary verb, the didn't. Okay. I didn't study. You I didn't. didn't study. You didn't watch. She didn't study. She didn't stay. We didn't stay. We didn't shop. They didn't exercise. Exercise. Okay. Exercise. Negative is that is the form. Any question here? Yes, no. is, okay. is, is the form, bueno, la español, esta no. forma es cuando yo estoy hablando eh, en la horita. Past. Ah, pasado. Past. Mm -hmm. We are talking about simple past. Okay. One more presentation here. Look, for example, the verb work. Work. I work. Okay. Affirmative. I worked. I worked. Solo le agregamos. ED. 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 Uh -huh. I worked. He worked. He worked. She worked. No digo worked. Escuche. It worked. We worked. You worked. They worked. They worked. Where? Where? We worked. She worked. 
The you negative. I didn't, I didn't work. work. I didn't work. Okay. I didn't observe. Work. You work. Didn't, didn't work. Work is normal. In su forma básica. You didn't work. You didn't work. He didn't work. She didn't work. He didn't work. We didn't work. You didn't work. They didn't work. Simple. English is simpler. Es más simple que el español. Mm. Mire cuántas formas usamos el, el verbo trabajar en pasado. ¿Cómo decimos? Yo trabajé. Tú trabajaste. Trabajaste. Él trabajó. 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 Ella trabajó. Nosotros trabajamos. Ustedes trabajamos. trabajaron. Mire cuántas formas el verbo trabajar. Trabajaron. Trabajé, trabajaste, trabajó, trabajaron, trabajamos. Wow. Y en inglés, only one form. No, no, no. Worked, 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 worked. Work, 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 work. Es, es más fácil. En español hay un montón de formas. Yo trabajé, tú trabajaste, trabajó, trabajamos, trabajaron. Y en inglés solo hay una. Yes or no? Yes. Solo el, el ED al final. Work. El verbo, el pasado. Solo se le agrega el ED. Ok. Presente. En este caso, con los regular verbs. Pero si fuera en presente. Si fuera en presente. Work. I work. work. Si fuera en presente. Work. Work. Solo work. ¿Cómo lo pronuncia? I work. I work. I work. I work. I don't work. Ya. Yeah. Easy. Ok. 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 I think in, in WhatsApp there is an exercise you can practice. Let me see. Si se, a ver si se los puse. Uh, 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 uh. Sí. Ok, this exercise ya no tenemos tiempo para hacerlo juntos acá. Pero lo pueden hacer ustedes. El siguiente. Ok. Más simple. Ya. Solo yeah. van a cambiar el verbo al pasado. Correcto. Ok. ¿Cómo? Agregándole ED. E -D. Only, por Quarren. ejemplo, con Quarren. este que termina. Como Ahí termina sería, en E. Ahí sería regar, ¿verdad? Exacto. Fíjense este. Invite. 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 Solo le agregamos la D. La D, ¿por qué? Porque ya tiene la E. La tiene la T. Ya tiene la E, solo le agregamos la D. ¿Ok? Y en the first, the water, the water. Ajá. Y D, the water. Con ID. Ajá. Water. 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 Ok. Ok. Water. Yeah. I live in the port. Ahí también I live in. Sería solo la de verdad. Exacto. Ok. Ahí es como que yo regué las plantas. Exacto. Yes. Exacto. Pero es you. Ah, no es ah, yo. Sí. Es you. Tú me cierto. Okay. Tú regaste las plantas, sí. Ok, se los dejo de tarea. ¿Cómo, okay, se, dice tarea, ¿cómo se dice tarea en inglés? Homework. 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 Ah, homework. 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 ¿Verdad? Homework. Porque lo hace en casa, antes de la clase. Ok, yo tenía un maestro que me decía, ustedes son estudiantes. 
Pero es que te decir que estudian un día antes o antes. Un día antes. Un día antes, Teacher. ¿verdad? Teacher. Hola, hola. Bien tarde está poniendo usted los trabajitos para avanzar, para ir más o menos familiarizándose. Tarde. Los está poniendo. Sí. A las ocho, antes creo que lo empezó. Ah, como diez minutos a las ocho. Ah. Y en momento estaba hacer y copiar y copiar acá. Ajá, no, nos acostumbró el tiempo clases. cuando ya hicieron las nueve. Son las imágenes que vamos a usar en la clase. <risa> no, es que hoy viene tarde, tenía otras cosas. Ok. 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 okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Okay, Bye. Remember, have a good night, everyone. Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Ah, ya se les olvidó, ¿eh? No. Push yourself. Uh, push push because yourself. No one else is going to do it for you. Porque push nadie lo va a hacer por uno mismo. Okay. Okay, have a good night and dream in English. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.